Hi, third grade. We're going to go over your grammar practice pages for the week. This week you are assigned pages 86 to 89. Your first page is page 86, and on this page we're going to be looking at main and helping verbs. So a verb may be more than one word. The main verb tells what the subject is or does, and the helping verb helps the main verb show the action. For example, has baked. Baked is the main verb, it's what the subject is doing, and has is the helping verb. The words have, has, and had can be helping verbs in simple and compound sentences. There's some examples for you here. Mom and I have baked cupcakes. So have would be your helping verb, baked your main verb. She has baked an apple pie. Has is your helping verb, and again, baked is your main verb. Dad had baked bread before leaving for work. Had is your helping verb, and baked is your main verb. On this page, you're going to read each sentence and underline the main verb and circle the helping verb. One clue to help you is that helping verbs are always right before the main verb. So I find it easiest to identify the main verb first and then look at the word before to see if it's the helping verb. Let's do two of these together. Number one, Jenna has read a book about recycling. Read is my main verb, so I'm going to drag one of my underlines there and the word right before is has. From the box at the top, I know has is a helping verb. So I'm going to take one of my circles and circle has. Number two, Nate and Jenna have talked to our class about helping. I see that talked is my main verb. It's what Nate and Jenna are doing and have is the word right before, which is one of my helping verbs. You will finish this page with the same directions for three through 10. Page 87, we're looking at more helping verbs. So the verb forms of be can also act as helping verbs. These are words like is, are, am, was, were, and will. The helping verb must agree with the subject of the sentence in simple and compound sentences. You're going to complete each sentence with the correct helping verb. There are two options after each sentence for you. Read each sentence with both to see which one makes more sense. Number one says, Next week, my family blank visit Mount Rushmore. Next week, my family will visit or next week, my family are visit. Will is the correct helping verb for that sentence. So you'll just type it on the line. Page 88, we're looking at commas and quotation marks in dialogue. Remember, dialogue is when two people or more than two people are talking. So quotation marks show that someone is speaking. They come at the beginning and end of the speaker's exact words. We begin a quotation mark with a capital letter and commas and periods always appear inside the quotation marks. If the end of the quotation comes at the end of a sentence, use a period, question mark, or exclamation mark to give it an end. And if the sentence continues after a quotation is given, we use a comma to close the quotation. Let's do three examples together so that we hit a couple of these different rules. We're rewriting each line of dialogue using quotation marks and commas correctly. Number one says, we had lots of snow last night. 
said mom. Because the quotation is at the beginning of the sentence, I am going to put a comma after night. So I'm going to start with my quotation marks, comma, quotation marks. Because I still have said mom after the dialogue, I cannot put a period in there in the quotation marks. Let's look at number two. Do you think the schools will be closed today? I asked. So in this sentence, I am asking a question. I can put a question mark inside of quotation marks, whether it's at the beginning or the end of my sentence. And one more. Mom said, let's turn on the TV to see if there is an announcement. I know I need to start my quotations with a capital, so I'm going to leave that L capitalized. And I can end the sentence, if it's the absolute end of the sentence, with a period and include it in the dialogue. You will finish this page with the same directions. Your last page is page 89. On this page, you're going to proofread the passage, circle any incorrect helping verbs, and underline dialogue that is not used correctly. There are four mistakes in helping verbs, and there are four sentences I'm sorry, five sentences that are um, not using dialogue punctuation correctly. I will be sure to add in those hints and the circles and underlines when I assign this assignment to you. Let's look at a couple of sentences together. So the first sentence says, I are helping my neighbor with his vegetable garden. There is a mistake with a helping verb there. Are should be am. I am helping my neighbor with his vegetable garden. He am planting lettuce and tomatoes. There's another mistake in the use of a helping verb. Am in this sentence should be he is planting lettuce and tomatoes. The next sentence says, I said, Mr. Jackson, where do you want me to plant these cucumber seeds? There is a mistake in dialogue here because I am missing a comma and quotation marks. So when I retype, I'm going to type, I said, comma, Mr. Jackson, where do you want me to plant these cucumber seeds? You will finish going through this passage looking for four more mistakes with dialogue and two more mistakes with helping verbs. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any of the reading teachers and we will be more than happy to help you. Check back on your comments to see if you're making any mistakes you need to fix before taking your grammar quiz on Friday this week. Have a great day, third grade.
Bye.